Straight Talk with award-winning journalist Lloyd Geit. Thank you so much for joining us on Straight Talk. How are you? Uh, you got put out of elementary school because you were, you were pretty bad. Something Straight like Talk. That. Politics. Equal important opportunity for mission. Race. She's a dark skin girl. Straight Talk. Money Matters. International News. Let's talk about colonialism. Straight Talk. Celebrity Interviews. Sports. Straight Talk with award-winning journalist Lloyd Geit. Hello and welcome to Straight Talk. I'm your host, Lloyd Geit. There's a new and powerful singer on the gospel scene. His name is Zacardi Cortez. Take a look. Come on, Zacardi. I believe that my God is a healer. Yes, he is. And I believe that I will survive. And welcome back to Straight Talk, our singer, Zacardi Cortez has a new CD out. It's called Zacardi Cortez, The Introduction. Thank you so much for joining us on Straight Talk. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm doing real good. Let's talk about this new CD. How do you describe it? I think it's like 13 tracks of really throwdown music. How do you describe it? Man, uh, it, it, it's incredible. Uh, I feel incredible. Um, so many different artists uh, blessed, blessed me on the CD and... Uh, it's just incredible. I'm overwhelmed. At the same time, I'm nervous, you know, uh, but I'm humble. Uh, I'm grateful, uh, and I'm just glad it's out. 13 tracks. Yes, sir. You sing on all of them. Yes. Did you do any writing for this uh, particular CD? I did. I did. I did, a, I did writing on um, the song We Praise You. Uh, it's number two on the CD, and uh, also uh, me and Isaac Curry got together and did a song called All Right, um, kind of R&B feel. You know, and um, uh, I did a little writing on that one also. Now, when you sit down to write gospel, yeah. where does the inspiration come from? Um, uh, my For you at least. Right. My, my inspiration, uh, um, just what I've been through, you know, my struggles um, and, and what I know God can do, what, what, I, what I've seen him do. Um, and uh, just personal, personal experiences, um, you know, just, just stuff I've, I, I've, I've came out of and and just 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 knowing what what God can do, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I know what you're saying, but we're gonna story. get real specific now. Right. You told me that as a child, yeah. <laughs> when you were like five years old, right. you got put out of elementary school because you were you were pretty bad. Tell oh, me about man. that. At five, pray for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I, I don't know. I, I was bad. I, I was a bad kid. Um, you know, um, growing up, my dad was in and out. So you know what I'm saying? Not, not really having a father figure. Uh, um, it wasn't until I really got up under somebody uh, to till I start acting, you know, like like a like a a good boy. I was just terrorizing the school. Just there a lot of anger. Uh, yeah. When you say terrorizing the school, give me an example. <laughs> you said it. I didn't. Uh, a lot of fights. <laughs> um, just telling the teacher what I wasn't gonna do at, at a little age, and you know, I was real smart for my age, so uh, I, I was talking back and. Just doing stuff I was supposed to do. What turned you around? Um, you know, just uh, I, just help. You know, help from 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 people, from mentors, uh, Pastor John P. Key, um, just teaching me um, how to get in my word. Um, I, I, I always been a, like a, a word fanatic. Like I love the Bible. Um, I, I, I love to know about the Bible. So I'm always asking, like, hey, give me a scripture, give me something I can read and study. So. Like um, Pastor Key really helped me with that, and um, he uh, he opened my eyes up to studying the Bible, and um, I mean, different stuff. Uh, other people had um, to do with turning me around. People watched um, out for you. Yeah, they did, man, and they 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 they, they really took me up under their wing and and let me know that's not right, man. I mean, it's just simple as that. Can you imagine where you would have been if somebody would not have said, "Okay, this kid might be bad right now." Wow. But he just needs some direction. Um, yeah, man. I, I mean, and even I, I'd be dead. I'd be in jail because I, I'm I'm from a rough hood neighborhood in Agus Homes, uh, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. It's, it's that's a very rough neighborhood. Um, and coming up, you know, uh, I I dabbed and dabbed and selling drugs and, and running with the gangs and with 
beating people up just for no reason, um, just doing anything, just being a, a bad kid, and you know, um, not listening to my mom and and uh, coming in the house late, you know, just just being a bad kid. And um, uh, I'm glad people put their hand on me. Hey, you're not supposed to do that because my dad wasn't always around. So, when did you realize, or when did somebody realize that you could actually sing? That you could carry a tune, right? How old were you? I was I was five. I was five years old. Uh, my mom started us singing, um, and uh, she brought us up that way. Now you have there are three or four sisters. I had three sisters. Three and sisters, brother. and a brother. Yes, sir. So there were five kids, yes. <laughs> and you guys actually sang together in church. Yes, sir. Tell me about that. You it was a group. Yeah, man. Tell me about that. It was a group thing, and uh, we were called the Cortez family. And uh, we went around singing everywhere in Houston. Everybody was just amazed. Oh my God, these little kids, you know. <laughs> uh, especially I step out and, yeah, I gotta make it. Out. And they'd be like, oh, this little boy. So it, it, it was just amazing. Um, that experience, I think it taught me a lot. I, I, I feel like um, they're all in me, you know. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at without them, you know, mm -hmm. vocally, uh, even spiritually. My brother helped me a lot. He put his hand on me, uh, like I was saying earlier, and uh, you know, <clears throat> they just a, a big influence in my life. I love them with all my heart. I love them over over any brother or sister. Here. Good. We're gonna take a break, but do not go away. We will be back with Straight Talk. Stay with us. Straight Talk. Life's this hard? It's no wonder 7,000 students drop out every school day. Visit BoostUp.org and help kids in your community stay in school. I wouldn't have been at this ceremony if I hadn't been at this ceremony first. Unfortunately, nearly 30% of U.S. high school students aren't making it to graduation. And every one of us, every parent, every friend, and neighbor has the responsibility to provide the support and encouragement they need to make it through, because we all need to see a lot more of these pictures. Did you know that getting up and getting active for just 60 minutes a day is all it takes to help you get stronger, look better, and feel great? Or that fresh fruits and veggies aren't just healthier and crunchier, they can taste better too? Eating better and getting more active is easier than you think. Yeah! Keep watching for some fun and easy ways to discover the magic of healthy living in your life. America, let's get healthy together! <laughs> minutes of physical activity a day and eating well can help get your child healthy. Get ideas. Get involved. Get going at letsmove.gov. That's letsmove.gov. And welcome back to Straight Talk. My special guest is Zacardi Cortez. He has a new CD out. Take a look. I'm just a simple man who makes plenty mistakes. Even turn the ones who love me away. Yeah, but you never judge me, and you love me for who I am, yeah. Your love came in and changed my life, and it's making me a better man, hey, yeah. Nothing compares, it's amazing, yeah. That you never gave up on me, so therefore, I'm living 
living for you. Welcome back. We're talking with uh, Zacardi Cortez. He is a gospel singer who is uh, going crazy, like wild. Yeah. His new CD is going bonkers. I want to talk a little bit more about your family, the, the three sisters and, and the two boys That's who right. were performing. Now, you guys started performing at churches, yeah. and you're five years old. I'm five years old. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we perform at churches everywhere around. We probably sung at every church in Houston at least three times. So. And, and what did people <laughs> say when they saw you guys these five siblings on stage performing. Just amazed. Um, and this was in the early 90s, so, you know, it was they were kind of big on it, I guess, you know, um, as far as a, a little a little family group. The Winans was out, Clark Sisters, so we were trying to, you know, do be the big next thing or whatever. And so people were amazed. Um, God, dog, these, these little kids singing like this, like, oh, y'all going to make it, y'all going to... And, um, you know... Um, it was just, they were just amazed. Wow. Now, how long did you guys sing as a family? Um, man, we still do sometimes. Oh, do you? Uh, well, we had our last probably engagement probably maybe a year or two ago. Um, now, then you started, you got involved with James Fortune, who is another yeah. gospel great. Yeah. You're a little older then. Tell me about that experience. Man, it was, it, it was, a, it was an amazing experience. James has taught me so much. Um, um, I pretty much been knowing him for, uh, and been sticking by him um, side by side with him for the last maybe eight years, um, and, and he's just been a, a big influence in my life. Played a big role um, uh, in me changing my character, uh, and um, James has just been been a good friend. Now you uh, sang the lead on which couple of songs that yeah, became very yeah, popular? Yes, sir. What were they? Uh, a song called "The Blood." Um, uh, Andre Crouch, mm -hmm, original, mm -hmm. um, The Blood. We kind of remade it, um, rearranged it, uh, redid it, put a little blues drive on the end of it, and uh, made it real funky. Uh, and another song was um, I Believe. Mm -hmm. um, Very popular. Yeah. Um, me and Sean McLemore um, collabed on that with James. And Now, Zaccardi, how do you describe your voice? Because I, I understand it's not just a straight gospel voice. How do you describe your voice? Um... Man, I tell people all the time, I, I stole everybody's voice and made it mine. Uh, I just feel like I'm a combination between everybody um, because, you know, I grew up listening to the, to everything and everybody, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a big music musician fan and music fan. I'm a just fan of music. I love music. I love the key changes. I love the aqua chords. I'm a big fan of Prince. I love Prince. Like, Can you sing some Prince? <laughs> Oh, that's Maxwell. <laughs> that's Maxwell. <laughs> I thought it sounded like Prince. <laughs> I was singing until the end of time. Be for you. I love that dude, man. That's pretty he, good. Yeah, man, now you also love Ron Isley. I love him. Hey. I just like his placements, you know, with the A. Hey. It used to just come out of nowhere. You, you uh, the song would come on, and all of a sudden you just hear. Hey. I don't know why. You know that's Ron Isley. <laughs> and uh, I, I just love that about him, man. He was just so creative and just a genius, man, musically. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break, but we're going to get back to that because I'm going <laughs> to ask you to sound like some other people. Do not go away. We will be back with Straight Talk. Stay with us. Straight Talk. a 20-foot wall into a canvas takes vision. So we're getting into college. I've got what it takes. So do you.
when life's this hard, it's no wonder 7,000 students drop out every school day. Visit BoostUp.org and help kids in your community stay in school. So, what's it gonna be? Uh, we could ride bikes, skating, movies, zoo, whatever you guys wanna do. Can we just do this? Yeah. We could just do this. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. Hey, I'm Demi Lovato. Bullying is never okay. But what are you gonna do? Well, here's an idea. Go to teensagainstbullying.org. The end of bullying begins with you. So join the movement. And welcome back to Straight Talk. My special guest is gospel sensation Jacardi Cortez. Take a look. Tells us. Let's talk a little bit about this new CD. You have so many people on here, which we are all familiar with. Layla Hathaway. <laughs> <laughs> is that her <laughs> or is that you? <laughs> her, man. I mean, she's, man, she's phenomenal. I, I still can't believe, like, it, 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 it happened. <laughs> I pinch myself sometimes because, I mean, I talk to her on the phone and she just talk good. Like, she talk like she... Like you, like, you know I can sing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just in a voice. Just that soothiness or something. You can just hear it. You can hear Donnie all in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's just amazing, man, just to have that, that uh, the, the legacy of a family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you just feel that when she, when she sings and when she talks. And it was just amazing to, to do a song with her, man. I Fred Hammond. To. Commission, that's all I can say, you know what I'm saying? Man, just back in the commission days, um, I wanted to give it that kind of feel, and uh, and he did it, you know, and he he, he made it, he made a commission all over again. Mm -hmm. He played the bass on it. He had Marcus Miller play bass on it, Bobby Sparks. It, 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 was, it was amazing. James Fortune is also on this CD. Yes, he is. That, that's, that's, that's my boy. I love him. Um, I actually done maybe three songs with James, and uh, only one of them made the CD, so uh, we're probably gonna do the other two some other, some other time on another project somewhere, but uh, yeah, James blessed the project. I also understand that you have this thing about the blues. You can also do some blues. I love blues, I love Ray Charles. Give me I, an I example of some of the blues you do. You know the night time, now the night, like that feel, yeah, night, night. <laughs> like I was just like how, how the blues, the, the whole feel of the blues. Oh, baby, now. It's just crazy. It's just like, ah. I, I love blues. Um, Johnny Taylor. Ah. You're See, you, 26 you years. Me, you're you're making, <laughs> yeah, man, you taking me on. You taking me on in, dog. Yes, sir. You're 26 years old and I'm you love these, these old people. Yes, sir. I, I, I really do. Um, I grew up on it. I grew up listening to my dad woke us up uh, when he was around. <laughs> when he was around every now and then. <laughs> he woke us up to Frankie Beverly and Mays, man, and uh, uh, every morning. So um, I ain't listen to the to the to the rap and hip hop and stuff like that. And I'm grateful for that. Uh, I do listen to it a little bit now, but it's mostly straight singers, old singers, because that was that was the when real singing was taking place mm -hmm. back in the day. So yeah, man. What's next for you? Another musical project? Are you working on some music right now? I am, man. I'm, I'm working on um, a project. I'm, I'm working on a song for another gospel artist named Krista Lakin. Um, I've done a play with Jacarius Johnson. I don't know if you're familiar with him. I'm familiar with him. I've done a play with Jacarius Johnson, and uh, we shot the DVD um, back in uh, May. I mean, back in uh, March, and um, that should be coming out soon. Um, I'm also trying to do a, a movie with Dietrich Haddon. Uh, he's in the movie arena now, and um, trying to get on the tour with uh, Live Nation. So oh, cool, yeah, man. So um, well, we're gonna to take some big things. We're gonna take another break, but we're gonna come back uh, so you can further entertain us. And do not go away. Stay <laughs> with us for more straight talk. 
Straight Talk. can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. All right, guys, we gotta be smarter about what we bite on, okay? I want everyone to go outside. We're gonna run Red Rover on three. What about you, Tony? I'm gonna run around in circles, flap my arms, and make engine noises, like this. When it comes to playing, big kids are the pros. We're eating right, too. We fuel up. To play 60. Your school doesn't have a program? Be a leader. Start one. Click today and join, join the movement. Talking to your kids about finishing school isn't easy, just necessary. Go to boostup.org for materials that can help. Lunch, a sandwich is a quick and easy choice. And with the right ingredients, it can be good and good for you. <laughs> so I'm here today to see who can build the ultimate sandwich. All right, when the time is up, our judges will give you their scores. Ready, set, go! Okay, uh -huh. Jason starts out with a multi-grain roll. Ooh, Allison stuffing her pita with, yes, spinach. A great source of iron. Jason isn't skipping on the protein, adding plenty of smoked turkey, just like Allison's putting the finishing touches with crispy red bell peppers for a dose of vitamin A. Time! <laughs> It looks like we have a tie. We'll need to call in our special guest referee. Uh. Now, these are what I call quick, delicious lunches. Whole grain breads, a whole variety of ingredients. There are so many different ways to build delicious, healthy sandwiches. These two get high marks in every category. I'd say you're both winners. Yeah. <laughs> America. Let's get healthy together. In 1977, an eight-year-old boy picked up the game of golf from his father. The odds of that same boy winning the US Open twice, one in 1.2 billion. The odds of him having a child diagnosed with autism, one in 110. Ernie Els encourages you to learn the signs of autism. And welcome back to Straight Talk. Now, you have been cutting us up for the commercial break. <laughs> you, you did some more Ray Charles. Do a little bit of Ray Charles for me. A little more Ray Charles. Uh, I, I, just like, I just like the part when he, uh, baby, night and day, baby, night and day, baby. And he squawked. He said, ah, baby, night. I say, wait, Ray, wait. <laughs> I can't take it, Ray. Stop, Ray. Stop, Ray. I can't take that. That, that's just, see, see, that's churchy, and, and it's blues all in one, man. It, it's just incredible, man. Ray Charles is, is the master. He's the master. He's the master. He's the master. He's the master. Do you think you'll stick with gospel? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I love gospel music. I love God. I love doing it. I, I love helping people, you know. Um, it, it just makes me feel real good when people come and say, man, your song blessed me, you know. Um, your song helped me out of this situation. Uh, your song, I cry listening to your song, thinking about my mom. And I, I just like when people come up and, um, and I'm helping somebody, you know, and that's what it's all about. You know, uh, I feel like if you're going to do music, um, it should be, you know, helping people. And, that's, you know. a, that's an awesome amount of power to right. be able to touch people in the right way. Right. Are you aware that that is a power within itself? Yes, yes it is. Um, it's an anointing. And uh, um, um, you, you, you're chosen, you know. Um, God placed you there for a reason. Um, I feel like God put me in the position I am for a reason. 
And uh, that reason is to help somebody and um, to show somebody that um, it's through him that we live and breathe and have our and uh, have our being. And um, um, only what you do for Christ will last. So. Well, we know you write. We know you sing. So what do you like to do when you're not doing either one of those? Um, that that we can talk about. <laughs> Uh, you, you know what? You'd probably be a good stand-up comedian, though, <laughs> <laughs> or an impersonator. <laughs> I, I think I think it'll be something like impersonator. But um, I, I love football. I, I would love to play football. You'd I, love to play football. Yeah, really? I love to play you don't mean football. professionally. You mean like just play football? Right, right. Just oh, yeah, right, right. Okay. Out there and get hit. No, don't hit me, please. <laughs> well, now wait a minute. You can't play football and say, "Don't hit me, please." Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We're not football. Let me. Maybe basketball. Let me, let's say a sport, any sport. But in any sport, you're going to get hit. <laughs> you can't just go out and say, look, guys, don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't get paid, guys. Don't get right, right. So now what else would you like to do? Um, I want to act. I, I want to do some acting, uh, get my Denzel on. You know, oh, get your Denzel yeah, on. Get my, little, my Will Smith going. Yeah, I want to do a little acting. Uh, but you'll be a singing Will Smith, and you'll be a singing right, Denzel. Right, 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 right. Singing has to be part of it. Yeah, it got to be part of my role at all times, you know, because, uh, yeah, that's the best in me. That's the best of me. Now, we talked about Prince. We talked about Ron Isley. We talked about Ray Charles. We talked about Prince. Who else really gets you started? Um, Kimberell, man. Oh, yeah, she not she something else? Oh, my God. I, I can listen to her all day. That's the same Kimberell that sang at Whitney Houston's funeral. Yes, yes, yes. And they Whitney, were good Whitney friends. Whitney Houston also. Um, oh, man. Uh, but Kimberell, man, I think she's the greatest female singer of all time. and Just uh, uh, the, the trend she set for, for, for other artists. Um, so many other people are trying to be like Kimberell, mm -hmm. trying to sing like Kimberell. And, just trying to do everything like Kim. I love Kim. I like the way she shout. <laughs> and it, it's just phenomenal. She's just a great singer. Well, we're actually running out of time, but I want to talk just briefly about your name, Zaccardi. I always thought it was Bacardi, but <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't know. It came from an uncle, didn't it, or something? It a came cousin? from my, my cousin, my dad's cousin. Uh, but you said some Bacardi might have been involved somewhere. It might have been a couple <laughs> shots taken somewhere here and there. Uh, the house is playing, but... Um, uh, hopefully that's where they got it from my cousin. That's what they say. Well, good. We <laughs> want to thank you for joining us on Straight Talk today. We've been talking with Zacardi Cortez. He has a new CD out called, his, actually his first CD, uh, Zacardi Cortez, The Introduction. And it is something that you really want to listen to. I mean, in addition to him being a good singer, he's also a little comedian, too. So he, he's got that going on. So thank you for joining us on Straight Talk. We will see you next week with yet another exciting show. Take care. Straight Talk with award-winning journalist Lloyd Geit. Thank you so much for joining us on Straight Talk. How are you?